When we think of symmetry, we usually think of a design balanced around a center line, or a folded ink blot, or a piece of architecture. We think of man as being symmetrical, yet he is only symmetrical the way some designs are. That is, he looks the same as his mirror image. There are many kinds of symmetry, and some things can be shown to be more symmetrical than others. One way to test for degrees of symmetry is to count the number of positions an object can take in a box that fits it perfectly. A man can fit in a man box only one way. But a card can fit in a card box four ways. Front out, front upside down, back out, back upside down. A solid with four equilateral triangles as faces, a tetrahedron, can fit in its box with any of its four faces up. And with each face up, it can turn in three positions. Three times four equal 12 positions. A cube has six faces, and each one up can take four different positions. It fits in its box 24 ways. A dodecahedron will fit in its box 60 ways. The number of ways suggests the degree of symmetry. Some things can take an infinite number of positions in their box. A cone is an example. If we put it in a cone box and mark a point, then move it halfway around, then half the distance to the starting point, then half again and again, we can keep halving forever, and the cone can take an infinite number of positions. The sphere is the most symmetrical of all. It can rotate into an infinite number of positions in an infinite number of ways. But trust the mathematician. He has a more precise way of measuring symmetry, a form of algebra called group structure. Still, fitting things in boxes is one way to gauge how much more symmetrical one thing is than another. <laughs>